Hey there everyone, it's Has here and it's time for another quick map and night wave guide and this time it will be on spawning grounds and arguably one of the easiest scenarios for the griller and night wave. I will be making these stage guides for each of the maps and night wave so look forward to all of them and subscribe if you'd like to see more salmon run content. For now, let's get started. Griller waves can be hectic no matter the map, especially because just like most night waves, they require team coordination and a general agreement between coworkers, especially in freelance, on what should everyone be doing. If there's no agreement, then usually it's every squid for themselves, which results in a quick splat and disastrous shifts. Because of this, I think it's important to have a somewhat unified and easy strategy for freelance that everyone can immediately commit to without disagreements in a game. Fortunately, the spawning grounds griller wave is one of the easiest scenarios. The good news about this strategy is that no matter the tide, it remains the same and thanks to the map's layout and the griller's move pattern, it's very efficient no matter what weapon combination you have. The general team placement is on the basket platform for everyone and the position you want grillers to be is in the corner in front of you, where they have to maneuver around the basket in order to reach you, thus making them very vulnerable. This position is excellent because when grillers turn they stop for a moment and that makes them very easy targets, while the golden eggs they drop are right next to the basket too, for easy collection. Additionally, since there is only one way up the ramp, it also makes small fry less dangerous as long as there is at least one coworker dealing with them. This is very important as there should always be one member in the team who is on small fry duty. Most freelance shifts end up as a wrap because of the small fry and not because of the grillers. So if you have a roller, brella, brush, blaster or any weapon that is exceptionally good against small fry, focus on them and let your team handle the grillers. Super easy, right? It really is that simple, but there's a small tactic that you should know about to make sure everything goes smoothly. While if grillers arrive from the left side, everything is easy, but if they approach from the right side of the ramp, there are some steps the targeted player needs to do for this strategy to work. But worry not, it's extremely simple. If this happens, all you have to do is jump off the platform on the left side and wait until the griller goes past the corner. Wall clinging the platform also works on the left if you're afraid of small fry catching you down below. Once the griller is in the corner or past it, you can just move back onto the platform and proceed with the normal plan and act collection. And that is all on how to deal with grillers and spawning grounds everyone. As I promised, very simple and safe strategy. I will try to keep all these videos to the point as I'll be creating them. Hope they're helpful and if you have additional tips or hints for griller waves and spawning grounds, do not hesitate to share them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you the next time.